Swan Song. This is his farewell fight. He says, and we've joked before, we've been on uh, on broadcast when we were getting text messages from Gabe or from other guys that were friends with Gabe saying, Gabe's retired. Okay, no, he's not retired. Okay, he's retired again. Kind of little, everybody was fooled and thought he was serious and went, what is he talking about? He had everybody fooled. He's a great sense of humor. Uh, I hope that he enjoys and has a great showing here in his, in his final mixed martial arts bout, if that is in fact what this is. The rematch. Gabe Godzilla Rudiger in the white and black. Scott K.O. Catlin in the blue with white and with Catlin written on his back. I guess that helps. Makes it nice and easy for us. Catlin switching stances here, which is pretty interesting. Going back and forth in southpaw. I know he's a southpaw comfortably, but um, you know, at least for a moment there, he was switching back and forth. Sometimes guys do that to adapt if, oh. if what they're doing isn't working. Why would somebody do it at the beginning of the fight before they had a chance? See, there it is again. Um, maybe it's because he was trying to get Gabe to kind of think he was going to shoot, but he, Gabe did a great job grabbing that single leg. Up oh, there's the guillotine attempt right here. Oh. Gabe's going to lock onto that head, try to get the control, bring his left arm. Oh. That looked like a little bit of an illegal knee. He, he thought about it. He pulled back, though. This could be a this could be a guillotine. All right, great hips by Rudiger here, pushing Catlin up against the cage, making Catlin carry his weight. There goes that guillotine attempt again. Gabe's going to try to knock him down, trip that leg so we can keep him down. He's pulling it in right there. Bring something for it to land. But he's got the power to get respect from Catlin and make him second guess coming forward a little bit at least and Absolutely. not just keep doing that. Right. And one thing about Gabe, Gabe does have a great chin, you know. Yeah. Well, um, his level changes to get the takedown. Walk in, wait for one of those big bombs, take, change levels and go. But you get the impression that if he fainted, he could get in without getting caught too. Absolutely. There's a little mouse on, um, on Catlin's eye. Good head position by Gabe. If he keeps using his head control, he's going to be able to do it. But I think we're a little too late in the round for, um, to score anything um, big. Yep. Oh. In Catlin's mind, that Catlin can lose this fight. Because right now, Catlin doesn't think so. Yeah, I think you're, you're right 100%. One thing about Gabe is Gabe will feel, even when he's losing, he will feel that he can win the fight at any time. Yeah. So if he can capitalize on that, if he feels like a, like a, like a kink in the armor. Gabe knows he can win or lose this fight. Catlin does not know that losing is an option for him right now. He does not. And well, that's a and, good thing if you're Catlin. And, and all the pressure's Ooh. on Rudiger. I mean, I mean, he's he's the he's the guy going into retirement. There's that shot. Fine. There it is. There good take go. down. Now Catlin might have a, uh, the ability to deal with him on the ground, but I don't think he's on Gabe's level on the ground. Absolutely. No, I, think, I think he's gonna try to you know try to get out like he did the first time. And it's, it's, he, he's in a that cage is a good place to get up. Uh, now he's now in the he's, mount. Now he's got great position for Rudiger. See, Gabe is now establishing that this is a fight, not a boxing match. It's a mixed martial arts fight. This is how I can win. Armbar. It's going to be tough against the cage there. He's got to make a little bit of space. He needs to readjust and just keep punching him. He's flatten him out, stretch, stretch those legs out, and keep hitting him. This is a great position for Gabe. Even if he controls this and we see a third round, he can win the second round and then even the fight. He should finish this right here. Gabe does have very good control on top. He, when he's in control, he looks so poised. There's that arm bar. Yeah, he, but it's a rock. Wants, uh, I wonder if he can get it with that cage right there. Yeah, I still think he's short on, on real estate to pull that off. But this does not look like the same fight we just saw one round ago. One mistake. And Gabe did a good job of making him think he was going to strike and finally set up that takedown. Okay, now, now he's, he's going to pull the arm bar. He's securing the is. other arm. He's pulling over the side. This is the arm bar. This is the career. La maybe the last move Rudiger ever does in his mixed martial arts career. Vengeance could be one extension away for Rudiger. Catlin's hanging tough. Catlin's tough. He's not going to go out easy if he goes out at all. He's going to if he's at all able to defend. You can bet he'll take the pain and stay in the fight. It looks like it's close. We've got an extension here. Can this be it? That's it. Rudiger pulls it off. Gabe Rudiger exacts revenge in his final mixed martial arts contest against the last guy to beat him and Scott K.O. Catlin. And, he's, and he 